Hello guys, thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I'm doing my handbag collection and what is in my bag on a daily basis. If you are a regular viewer, then you know this kind of video isn't something I do very often, but there have always been requests for this exact video, so I just thought I should do it for you. Um, I don't have a huge handbag collection, but I do have a pretty good amount, and I am obsessed with all of these bags. I never purchase a bag on a whim. Like, I watch so many videos, I read reviews and purse forums and all of that. So I love all of them. I'm gonna show you what I use them for, what they look like, all the details, all that stuff. Um, if you enjoy this, please give it a like. Definitely consider subscribing if you're new. I would love to have you. I will have a link down below for as many things as I can possibly find. I'm pretty sure almost everything is still available. So I hope you enjoy this and let's get started. I'm going to start out with the very first bag that I got that I don't even use anymore, but it's just like, a memory thing, a keepsake, honestly, and I do like to spend a little more on handbags. I don't have anything that's like super crazy expensive, but at the end of the day, a bag is just a bag. It doesn't matter where it came from or where you got it, it's still holding the same things. So yeah, I just feel like I should say that because I don't really like to talk about expensive things on my channel very often, but again, this has been like extremely requested, so I'm gonna share everything with you. But if you had a handbag, like a nicer handbag, six years ago it probably was this bag because everyone and their mother and their sister and their aunt and their niece had this bag <laughs> so this one i'm pulling out of the dust bag and this is a michael kors hamilton bag oh my gosh i remember being just so excited and over the moon about this bag i was obsessed with it and it is extremely worn out you guys like the hardware is super duper scratched up scratched up and scuffed i think there's some stains on here too i haven't pulled it out of the dust bag in a really long time but i wore this all around san francisco i got this when i lived there um there's nothing in here but that's what the inside looks like and it has the rose gold hardware i've been a rose gold girl for forever so yeah, if you guys had a Michael Kors bag, then let me know because I feel like just about everybody did. I used to be so obsessed with them. And the only handbags I've ever sold were actually from this brand. I had a red one and like a neon one that I sold. I just never used them for a while. I was like obsessed with Michael Kors and then I was over it. So I just got rid of those. And then the next one is a Tory Burch bag. And if you've been watching me for a while, then you know I always recommend this brand because I just feel like their stuff is really, really good quality for the price. Um, it lasts forever. So this one I got when I was 21 or 22. I don't know exactly because I'm just horrible when it comes to time and like things like that, but it was either 21 or 22. I got this for Christmas. Um, so it has like the Tory Burch symbol right here. It has a pocket here, a pocket on the back, and then it opens in the middle and it has a zipper for that. And it's very like Chanel inspired with the hardware and the chain and it slides through the bag like this. So it can be a shoulder bag if you want it like that. It can be like this. And I just think this is like a perfect fall and winter bag. It's like shiny leather. I don't think they offer anything in shiny leather anymore, but I absolutely love this. It's a bag I'm gonna hold on to for forever. I do have the wallet that goes with it too. And I haven't actually used this wallet in a very long time probably like around two years. It's just fairly large. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been using on a daily basis. It's a lot smaller, um, but it's still super pretty. Definitely something I love to hold on to. And what came after it, that Tory Burch bag is this one. This is a Lily Pulitzer for Target bag. That collection came out so long ago now, like five years ago, something around there. And I got a ton of stuff from it, but I held on to this because it's just like the epitome of my style. It's fun and vibrant and colorful, floral, pink and light blue, and just like so many fun and pretty colors. I love this so much. It does have a chain strap. So if you wanna wear it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag, then you can. It can go inside too if you just wanna hold on to it. My phone, yeah, for sure, it's not gonna fit in there, but a credit card, a lip gloss, things like that. Really cute and definitely something I'm gonna hold on to. If you guys got anything from that or if you remember it, let me know because it was such like an insane thing. I'm pretty sure the whole collection sold out in like an hour. I love when they have those collections at Target with like higher end or like fancy designers. It's just so fun <laughs> to see what they have. 
And the next one is also a Tory Burch bag. They still have this one. I believe it comes in three size options and this one is the largest one. Again, it's very like Chanel inspired. It has a pocket here on the back. Um, that's what the front looks like. It has the Tory Burch symbol on the very top, a chain strap, and it's similar how the chain, it can be like really long, like a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. And also if you wanna wear it shorter, like a shoulder bag, it can be like that. It's just so feminine and pretty, and I love this one super, super. I love this one so much. Um, the shade of this one is Shell Pink, so it's like a very light pink. They do have a million options for colors. I honestly think there's like at least 15 options. There's hardware options, there's silver hardware and black hardware. Um, yeah, and it can be like solid black. I know there's a white, there's a beige, there's red. And inside it does have pockets. On this side here, there's two. It's just like the open style of pocket. There is a zipper pocket on the other side and then just an opening. I have a lip gloss stain in there, but I am not extremely careful when it comes to handbags by any means. I'm always the kind of person that says like, if you work hard for something, then enjoy it. Things have wear and tear, things happen. I obviously want to avoid as much of that as possible, but still, it's gonna happen and I'm okay with it. So one thing you guys always ask me about when it comes to this bag is if there's any transfer on it, like from wearing a pair of denim or anything like that. I don't see things like that, but I do see some small wear and tear for sure, but again, like that's gonna happen. And I still think for the price point, their bags are great. If you are on a budget, but you want like a high-end bag, look at Tory Burch. They have sales, they just have really, really good bags. The next one is definitely the most expensive, but I've gotten my money's worth out of this bag for sure, you guys. I bought this when I was 21, I believe, and it's a Neverfull from Louis Vuitton. This is the largest size, so it's really big. You can push in the sides like this, though, and they have three different sizes, but something that's very surprising to me is they're not that far away in price difference by any means. This one and the next size down, I think it's like, $100 or something like that price difference. I think it's a little less than $100 price difference So they are super close together. I'm really glad that I got the largest size though I bought this for school and I filled it up every single day There were times where I was stuck in like the pouring rain and there was nothing I could do about it like running to find a train or catch a train and it just like ran right off of it This bag has been through a lot. I have filled it up a hundred times way fuller than I should have, way heavier than I should have. I've shoved it under seats on an airplane. I've used it as a carry-on a million times. I recommend this bag so much. I love this bag so much. They are an investment, but if I wanted to resell this bag, which I don't think I ever would want to do that, I could probably sell it for exactly what I paid for it because the price of these bags, it does go up a little bit every year, but Love this so much. Of course, there is some wear and tear on it for sure, but that doesn't bother me. I really do want to get an MM in like the lighter color. That or the Graceful, I believe it's called. I'm going to put them on the screen and I'm kind of trying to talk myself out of it, but I just really want one of those for my next bag. So that's what I've had my eye on for a while now. I don't know what else to say about these. There's like a million videos on them, so I don't wanna talk about it too much. There is a zipper pocket on this side. That is it, the rest is open. Um, there's a lot of places that sell an insert for these. I know that Tote Savvy is one of them. And then this one is from Shop I Love Jewelry on Instagram. So this is a monogram bag, and these are very similar to the Chanel totes, but for a fraction of the price. I can't remember for sure how much these are. I think it's around like $60. These are the cutest thing in the whole world. I'm so glad I have one of these. And I just saw that they have this in a light pink color now, so I really wanna get the pink one too, but it has my monogram in the middle, and then it's a big, like an open space. And then it has a side pocket right here with a zipper. And if you want to take these off, it just slides right off, so you can do that. I don't know why you'd want to, but if you wanted to, and you can hold it from the handles, it can go 
right on the shoulder like this. These are just adorable. They come in a lot of really pretty colors. I know there's a beige color. I think with seasons too, they switch it up too. So if you have to get a gift for someone, I think this is perfect as a gift. I love like the personalization. A lot of you guys know I love anything with a monogram. So yeah, this is a great affordable bag. It's going to last you a long time. Again, I have put this through a lot of wear and tear and it still looks like it's brand new. So love this too. I'm going to show you the last bag and also what I keep in there or what I use on a daily basis. So this is the Marmont Super Mini from Gucci. Um, I don't know what the color is called, but I'm going to link it for you. I got this one a few months ago. This is the smallest size, and I really wanted a really small bag. And what I love about this one is there's so many ways to wear it. So it does have a chain strap like this. And I have seen a lot of videos where people show you like how to wear it as a fanny pack, which I think is really cute. I know it's like a little bit far out there like fanny pack fashion but I think it's cute and also there's people who wrap it that way so then it's just a little bit shorter there's people who wrap it around a couple of times so then you see the chain sitting on the top of the bag and then you hold it like this there's people that wrap it like several times it's just extremely versatile like I could wear it as a top handle bag. I don't know what to call this, just like a short bag like this if I just want to hold it. I can wear it as a crossbody. I can wear it as a shoulder bag. I can wear it really short on the shoulder. I can wear it as a fanny pack. Like this is so perfect. Right now I'm using this bag way more than any other bag. It's just so great for shopping and errands and running into places. I love this thing so much, especially for the grocery store, as random as that is, because I can wear it on me. It's not sitting in the cart. And there's just so many times where I have the shopping cart I have on the side of the aisle and I have to leave it there, then walk across the aisle for something else. And there's people walking behind me right next to my shopping cart. So I never feel like someone's gonna steal my bag because I'm wearing it. I do have a large iPhone, the iPhone X, I believe it's called. That fits in here. It also fits in here with this guy, which I'm going to get into, and a lip gloss. So it doesn't fit a ton of things, obviously, but I can fit a full-size phone, a huge iPhone, this thing that has like a bunch of stuff I'm going to show you, a car key, a mirror on it, and a lip gloss. So I have everything that I need for a couple of hours, for sure, inside of this guy. It does come in a couple colors. I know there's red, white, black, obviously, but... I wanted something in this color because I don't have anything in this color that comes in a lot of sizes too but again that is the super mini so it's the smallest one and the last thing is this guy so this is a Louis Vuitton it's like a card case and it's not actually from the store it's from Etsy I got this for like $50 I'm gonna link it for you and personally, I don't buy anything that's fake. That's just me. If you want to do it, whatever makes you happy. Um, but what I love about these Etsy sellers now is they are finding bags that are like really worn and they cut the fabric or the canvas, whatever it is, from like high-end bags. And they will remake things from what is still like salvageable, what still has really good condition, which I think is the coolest thing ever because it's way more affordable. It's still the real thing, but it's not from the actual store. Like there's nothing fake about it. So I think that's amazing <laughs> and yeah I've seen a few sellers on Etsy but I'm gonna link where I got this one so inside of here I have like an ID a credit card a debit card store cards and then I just have a car key on here and a mirror and if I'm just running out for like a second like I just got a sandwich an hour ago so I just ran out and had this and that was it and I'm just obsessed I think this is like the cutest and most practical thing ever but what do I have in my bag on a daily basis? Okay, so if I have this thing, I showed you guys what I have with me. If I have a larger bag, it probably is this pink one from Tori Birch. Um, and then I have a hairbrush in there, a Tangle Teaser hairbrush. I love this hairbrush. Oops. I shouldn't have dropped it that far. <laughs> I love these hairbrushes because they just make your hair look really, really smooth and like feathered out and just like really pretty. I love these tangle teasers for wet hair, for dry hair. This is a travel size one, so it's a smaller one. And then I have a lip gloss with me, which I put right here. 
Paris phone. I'm not saying that right. I'm gonna link it. I don't know how to say that. I think it's like a stone or something, but I almost always wear like a really light pink. I have a few favorites I will link for you too, but this one's a little bit different and I'm really, really liking it. And honestly, I never feel like I'm gone for that long. I know a lot of you guys are gone for like a regular job like all day. So if I'm gone all day, I will have like those oil absorbing sheets with me because I do get shiny. The Walgreens brand is seriously the best brand. I've tried like 15 different kinds. The Walgreens brand are the best. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I really don't have to leave the house with like a ton of stuff. So I don't have a million things to show you. And those are all the handbags that I currently have and what I use on a daily basis. There probably will be more coming soon, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna try and hold off for a little while because I feel like I have a pretty good range of different sizes and all that stuff. If you have any questions, if there's anything I didn't mention, let me know down below. I didn't want to be like super duper specific because I know that every single one of the bags I showed you, there's a ton of videos on them anyway. So I just wanted to share what I like about them and what I use them for. And yeah, everything is linked below. Thank you so much for watching and spending the time with me today. Please hit that like button. Also subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.